what's up my homie homies and fellow nft collectors today's video is going to be a quick tutorial over the vmay app and some of its new features vmay is an app that you can download on google or apple and helps you keep track of your vv vault value the vv market and it also has some other cool features that i'm going to show you today if you already have a vmay account and you've already downloaded the app just make sure that you update your app there was a big update recently which includes some of the features we're going to go over today if this is your first time using vmate just download the app from the app store and create an account like you normally would keep in mind though if you have to verify your account that that email might show up in your spam or promotions email folders i know some people had problems with that with the vmate app early on so if you don't see that confirmation email in your primary email folder make sure that you check your spam and promotion folders as well so the first feature that I want to cover is the newest feature of the VMA app. It was just released a few days ago and it gives users the ability to quickly import the information of which NFTs they own on the VV app directly into the VMA app so that they don't have to manually enter them themselves. To do this, you'll have to go to VV's website, omi.vv.me. Keep in mind, it's not the app.vv.me website, not the VV web app. But it's what they call the VV Web Wallet, omi.vv.me, and you'll log into that the same way you would log into the web app. And once you've gone through the 2FA and you're into your account, you'll see your gym transactions there. You'll click on your gym transaction button, and as soon as that pops up, you'll see a button to export your CSV file. That's the file you're going to use to import the information of what you own on VV into the VMA app so that you don't have to enter it manually. After you've downloaded your CSV file from the omi.vv.me website, just go to the vmate.com website, which I'll link in the description below. Log in with your vmate account and then navigate into the import section by clicking the import button on the left of the dashboard. Then after that, all you have to do is click on browse and select your CSV file and it'll be automatically imported into the vmate app for you. A problem I ran into when I was trying to test the exportation of my CSV file myself from the omi.vv.me website is that I couldn't get my gym transaction page to load up. So I was never able to export the CSV file for my account and I think it's because I do a lot of buying and selling in the market so my transaction history is really long. But that's an issue with the VV website and hopefully they can fix that soon so that people like me with long transaction histories are still able to export their CSV files because some people are going to be using those files to file their taxes. Also because of how the CSV files are set up whenever you import the contents of your VV app into the VMA app through the CSV file for comic books you'll have to enter the serial numbers yourself. For some reason, those don't transfer when you're importing your comics into the VMA app, so you'll have to enter those manually. Also, with this new update, you have the ability, of course, to add multiple NFTs that you own in your vault. Before the update, you were only able to add one of each NFT you owned, but now you can add multiples. This CSV file is the current method that VMA is using to import wallets from VV into the VMA app. However, pretty soon, once IMX is completely updated, They'll be able to use the metadata from Immutable X to import your wallets just by knowing your wallet address. Another feature I want to show you and a feature that I use most often are the notifications that you can set up through the VMA app for price notifications and now even mint number notifications if you're trying to pick off some of those low serial numbers when they hit the market. If you go into the market on the VMA app you can search for any collectible you're looking for and then once you pull it up you can click on that bell button and that's going to allow you to set up notifications for that NFT. The first notification page that pops up are for mint notifications if you're looking for particular serial numbers. For example, if you want a serial number 1989 for a particular collectible, you could put in that you want it to go between 1988 and 1990. So whenever that serial number 1989 of that collectible hit the market, you would get a notification on your device. You can also set this up to look for low serial numbers, maybe even sub 50 serial numbers. Let's say you wanted to find two digit serial numbers for this particular collectible. You can set up the notification for it to notify you anytime one of these NFTs with a serial number under 100 gets listed on the market. At the top of that notification window is a tab labeled price. If you click on that price tab, you can now set up notifications for that NFT anytime it hits a certain price that you're looking for. If you're trying to sell that NFT and you're waiting until the price rises to a certain level, you can set it as price rises and then put in the price that you're looking to sell it at. Or if you're looking to buy that NFT, you can set a price for where that price drops into that price range that you're looking to pick it up for. 
you can set up the same sort of notifications for comics on the market as well and if you click on any of those nfts you'll see vmates charts for the seven day 30 day 60 day and one year charts for that nft as of right now the vma app is completely free to download and use but pretty soon there will be a premium service available that's going to unlock some new features that haven't been revealed yet and you'll be able to access that by holding $100 worth of that VMate token. The VV market and notification systems are only phase one of the VMate app. Phase two of the VMate app will allow artists to break down their high value NFTs into fractionalized tokens. These high value fractionalized NFTs can then be listed on the market for mainly crypto traders to engage in the volume trading that they're used to. This allows crypto users to enter the NFT market without learning anything new. Users then will be able to trade fractionalized NFTs through VMate like they normally would with cryptocurrencies. Phase 2 of the VMate app aims to bridge the crypto and NFT world by bridging that gap and removing those challenges. Alright guys, I want to thank VMate for sponsoring this video. They are a big sponsor of my YouTube channel. And thank you guys for watching. I'll see y'all in the next Drop Day live stream. Later.